All right, hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I see in my video there's a running app in the start trying to make you make a donation. And supposedly those donations will go to help the poor. In fact, all the donations sent to the Middle East is sponsor terrorist. And I made the videos about it before. So be careful, don't be a fool. Today our topic is about the language of the Quran. And the Muslim they say the Quran is an amazing, beautiful book. Hmm. How beautiful it is. What is the language of the Quran? For sure I'm not asking what if it's Arabic or not. What is the language? What is the quality of this book? Arabic is my first language. And I confirm to you that the Quran is nothing but a savagery language. Trashy low class very disgusting and there is no way God will speak in such a way you heard sometime Muslims they complain they says why sometimes you use the word donkey the Quran call us donkeys why you get upset I mean look at the hypocrisy they say this is rude this is bad this is you are not respecting yourself how you even say that word the Quran say that word the second you say the Quran says that word they shut up so it is okay for God to speak in such a language what about saying that you are a pimp pimp just because I don't like you not because you are a pimp you know if somebody is a pimp okay well he's a pimp this is not a name calling and this is not I mean uh, if you are describing someone as he is this is not name calling pimp you are like a dog you are you are a whore uh, you are a son of adultery just because he don't like Muhammad that's it and when a Muslim he see a video like mine in the internet he do this Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar he is insulting the Prophet he is insulting the Prophet look at him unbelievable Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Takbir, report him to YouTube. Let us do something, Allahu Akbar, brother. Hmm. What a hypocrite cult. What a hypocrite cult. Hypocrite like their, their prophet. Yeah, sure, you can copy it. It's not mine anyway. I received this from Jibreel. So they call everybody names. The Hindus, the Buddhas, the atheists. I mean, they have nothing in their book except calling us names. And then the second... Uh, the second you say something about their prophet, it is the same moment they go so crazy. And they will show you the peace of Islam <clears throat> immediately in the top of the, I wish it's only screaming. Right? So let us see some examples of the madness of the Quran. If there is any Muslim would like to call me in Skype, I will take your call, but give me just a few minutes, please. At least we can lay our case for you. And then we can see how smart you are. <clears throat> Again, I am not, by the way, I'm not against anyone to say, uh, you know, you are dirty if you are dirty. Uh, you are a whore if you are a whore. Uh, you are a dog if you are a dog. <laughs> Anything else is just name calling and it's not helpful and can't be God speaking. So, if we go and read some verses in the Quran, let's go some and take some verses. And this is, I call it, the best of Allah. <clears throat> Look at this. Al-Fajr. 
كلف الجار <coughs> who is a Muslim I tell us what al fujjar mean any Muslim I tell us what al fujjar mean what what that word mean hello any brother in the chat his name is Muhammad Ahmad he want to tell us what al fujjar mean let us go and click at the translation see if the translation give us the meaning we will give it a try hmm. oh fujjar according to this translation is a criminals disbeliever and wicked etc <laughs> etc <laughs> what is that man <laughs> i mean etc should we open the what does that mean what do you mean etc like it's too much too many description to count when we say uh that means she is a whore so the second the muhammad he speak about what about those who disbelieve, <laughs> disbelieve in him they are fujjar they are a bunch of whore for sure they are criminals wicked all the titles just because they don't believe in Muhammad that's all and Muhammad he liked this word and not only that Muhammad he claimed in the Quran that those people they only give birth to pimps and whores uh, and they will be got none but wicked disbelievers have you ever heard of such a statement so according to Muhammad God if you are a person who don't believe in Allah your son will be a wicked Yusuf Dar, he is challenging me. Should I call a friend? Where are you, Mr. Yusuf? Well, give me your name, please, in Skype. I will call you. No, no, it's okay. I will, I will, I will talk to him. It's okay. What, he is six years old like Aisha? Aisha, she was mature, according to Muslim, at the age of six. And according to some scholars, she have three nipples, not two, at the age of six. Some they say seven. I'm not sure about the number because the Muslims agree about not to agree about the interpretation of anything. So look here. The wisdom of Allah that if you are not a Muslim, your son will be wicked. Muslims, is that true? Is that true? Who is a Muslim? He have the courage to say this is true. If you don't like the translation here, we can change it for you. Let us change uh, to other Abdul. There's many Abdul, many Abdul. We chose from many Abdul. There is this is Yusuf Ali. <coughs> ah. Yusuf Ali. He uh, he changed the word begotten to a breed. Breed? Why they are dogs? breed they breed guys who is a Muslim wanna tell me if this is true who is a Muslim he have the courage to say this is true any Muhammadan No, here breed is about children. This is not about produce, uh, you know, because you can make many production, right? But this is about having children. Your children, if you are a non-Muslim, you will breed bad children, wicked, bad, ugly, disgusting, for jaw, pimps, whores. Who is a Muslim? I agree with this. 
okay forgot I, I, I sorry I did I should not say any Muslim any Muhammadan agree with this because they worship Muhammad what Muslim they are not Muslims uh, the, even the name the word Islam Muhammad he stole it from a guy in the Arabian Peninsula in his time and he killed him later any Muslim have an idea any Muhammadan if somebody is not a Muslim is it true the Quran saying that he will have children who they are criminals, wicked, fujar, pimps, whores. Do you agree with that? What happened to the Muslims? Anyone knows what the problem with this, which is showing us that Muhammad is a stupid man? Who of you is a very uh, deep thinking when he read? Who here noticed something very bad? Very bad for the Muslims, actually. Anyone notice? Who notice? Let us see who of you. The one who, who will notice, give me the correct answer. I will give you one way ticket to Afghanistan for vacation. I mean, see your lucky day. One way ticket to Afghanistan. And you will enjoy your vacation with Taliban. A lot of heroin. Very decent people. They smoke nothing but heroin and cocaine. No cigarette from America. Absolutely, it's haram. American cigarette is haram. Only cocaine and heroin, brother. Made, produced locally. Now, who want to give me the answer here? What is wrong? <laughs> Guys, I was kidding now. Like, don't, okay, give me the correct answer. Who, who noticed what the problem here? Nobody. His parents were disbeliever. Thank you. Uh, what's your name? C. Charon. C. S. Charon. Guys, Muhammad. Do you see how stupid Muhammad is? He just said that he is. He is a bad breed. He is a wicked because he is a son of a disbeliever. Do you see how stupid this man is? Did you notice how stupid he is? If Muhammad himself is a son of this believer who will go to hell, and the Quran saying that those who disbelieve, they are going to breed, give babies who they are pimps and whore and wicked. That means Muhammad is a wicked pimp, etc. <clears throat> Any Muslim have, uh, is that the wisdom of Allah? <clears throat> Muhammad, he said clearly uh, that his father and his mother, they are in hellfire. Even he asked Allah for forgiveness for his mother in her grave. Allah supposed he refused. He said, no, Muhammad, don't try. Do you see it, Muhammadan? My father and your father in hell. Why? Because the father of Muhammad was a wicked man. Actually, according to Islamic books, he was a jigalo. I don't know how many of you, you have my books. You will see that the sister of Waraq ibn Nufal, she offered Muhammad 100 camel to sleep with him. I mean, look, I am very handsome. This is, I don't show myself in the camera. And I wish even a woman, she will offer me 99 camel. I mean, why the father of Muhammad, he got 100? The maximum I made, it was 88. I did not reach that point. Even though I'm so, I am the most handsome person in the Middle East. This is why when I go in the elevator, nobody want to go with me. Because, you know, they, they are trying to fight temptation, you know. Not because they are scared, absolutely not. I go in their plane, even the pilot, he, he jump. And we don't know how we, I had, how, last time I took the airplane, I have no idea how I was landing. I mean, it was landing by itself. I said, Alhamdulillah, the airplane went down and this is a true story. Now, who is a Muslim going to tell me what, what, 
So Allah supposedly here is calling names, but by calling names, he called Muhammad bad names, and he said Muhammad for sure is a wicked man. This is why I call this video the best of Allah. Allah is so good, so believable, so smart too. Once there was a Muslim, he used to come to a Christian chat room and he take the mic always and he said to him, Hey Christians, you are the sons of adultery, you are the sons of shaitan, da -la 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 shaitan. The Christians there, they don't know what to say to him. So there's a guy who is in control of that chat. And he said to me, can you take the microphone for a second and say something to this guy? I, I'm sure you can come with something. So I took the microphone. I wasn't talking. I was just like, well, you know, listening to them in this uh, chat, taking a break from what I do. And I asked the, the, the Abdul, hey, Abdul, are you sure that uh, we are the sons of shaitan? He said, yes, the prophet said, the prophet said, the one who said don't say this prayer before he have sex shaitan will wrap himself around the penis of the father and he will be doing his mother and you christian don't believe in allah and you don't say that prayer so you are the sons of shaitan <laughs> i said to him abdul are you sure that this hadith is sahih he said absolutely sahih <laughs> absolutely i said are you sure again as sahih he said absolutely i said are you sure it's sahih i said what's wrong with you i said i'm just repeating three times like your prophet okay so now you confirm to us three times that this is a sahih hadith but based on your hadith, Muhammad himself is a son of shaitan. Because his father was not a believer, therefore he did not say that the prayer before he have intercourse with the mother of Muhammad. The Abdul, he took the microphone, he started saying this. May Allah curse you. May Allah destroy you. You are shaitan. You are so smart like shaitan. So Abdul, what's wrong? Abdul, take it easy, Abdul. Let me get you some tissue, Abdul. I just, I'm just working with your logic. They start cursing me. They start calling me names. They start. They have no answer. I mean, here we go. Allah, He is cursing us, calling us names, supposedly because we don't believe in Muhammad. And the story end with a drama. We found that Muhammad himself is the one is being cursed, and Muhammad himself is the one who is wicked, based on this verse. Huh? I think what happened to this guy when I uh, when I gave him that uh, answer, this is what happened to him. Like, what? Uh -uh. Any Muslim? My stories are so good. Wait until I stop talking. My stories get better when I am not talking. Unbelievable. I made a book, it's called The Mute. You open from page number one to page number 300, there's no words written there. Because <laughs> this is the purpose, silence. That is the best, my friend. Yeah, why you use our logic? You see, this is why they say, thank you. This is why the Abdul, the Muhammad, and they get upset when we use their logic. Because when you use their logic, you destroy their cult. Use their logic. Do we have any? Uh, do we have any Muhammadan sitting behind the computer, and he have? And by the way, you will notice that Muhammadan they color their beard red. The real Muhammadan, not those you know today, they are not coloring it. Real, real Muhammadan, they color their beard red. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? I'm drinking some tea. Anyone want some? Halal tea. It's made uh, in Sri Lanka. Anyone knows why? Because the Prophet, he wanted to be a redhead. He forbid the Muhammadan from coloring their hair black. You believe it? Any Muhammadan will color his hair, he have to avoid the black. And he had to color his hair the same as the prophet red. And when I say red, I mean it red, not blonde. Red, red. Which is, you are forcing me guys to show you some pictures. I mean, why you are doing this to me? Shall I curse you now? Once, once I cursed a guy. This is a true story, by the way. 
I cursed him and I said to him, May Allah make you look like Christian Prince. You believe it or not, he woke up in the morning, he saw himself in the mirror, he went crazy. He looked exactly like me. He was start asking Allah, begging Allah for forgiveness. Please, please Allah, let me go back to the old stage the way I used to be. And Allah says, no, that's it. That's it. That's it. I, 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 I made you look like Christian Prince. What a horrible punishment. Uh, <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, we are trying to find you some images how you will look like. Okay. No, this guy is not uh, we want to find you. All right, this is a close to the. Oh, uh, hold on! This is from the Muslims Brotherhood. <laughs> I found you a big, a perfect picture. You guys, you have to pay for this. I'm serious. I mean, I cannot let you see it for free. I, I, I don't know. I mean, this is not even fair. Look how you have to color your beard. This is how the Prophet used to color his beard and his hair. Alhamdulillah. Do you? Do you believe it? Do, do, do you uh, 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 believe it? This is why Zach and Naik, he color his beard, but because he don't have a beard, you know, if you remember this, uh, Zach and Naik, he color his beard, and then he st stood in the stage, he says, this is my beard, and I grow it, and I with, because I'm a Muslim, and I'm afraid to grow it, and I'm going to color it the same as the Prophet. I will be back in five minutes. And then, uh, Zach and Naik, he color his beard, and he came back after, it took him five hours, actually, not five minutes, and then he said, I am sexy, and I know it. And all the Christians now, they are going to die from anger because they see how sick I am. Absolutely. I'm sick and I know it. I mean, look how, how sick this is. This is very sick I mean, this is the sick itself. Who can be the sick Can you be the sick Now, any Muslim will tell us why the Prophet, he killed his uh, like this? Guys, why you are laughing? Why you are laughing? Okay, shall I curse you like in the morning you wake up, you look like me? It's very powerful curse, by the way. I'm warning you, I will make you look like me. You will wish to look like Zach and Naik. Uh, you see, you see, Fadi, let me ask you, Fadi. You said that the Jews, the Jews, they shave uh their hair and they keep the long uh, twirling uh, hair next to their ears uh, for me it looked funny too no problem but this is this is a tradition but when your prophet is doing this the arab never did that the jews they do that for a reason they want to tell you that we are orthodox and we don't go we don't go for war we are like uh, it's like the uh, same as a christian who uh, uh, let us say want to make himself as a priest so he he wears certain clothes so people will know that he is a priest he's not a soldier he's not a fighter same as a christian nun she dresses uh, differently so men they will not look at her and they will not ask for her hand or to think about her as a normal female but why are your prophet doing that can you explain we give you explanation can you give us explanation why your prophet is doing that and why he forbid you from coloring your hair black let me show you the hadith abdul i hope you will find it here ah you cannot find it hold on
Okay, hold on, give me a second. All right. Hit a C if we can find it. This should be. Okay, let's see this one. Brother, why your prophet he forbid you from coloring your hair black, which people they do, and he wanted to be a redhead. Any Muslim have an answer? Any Muhammadan have an answer? Why? Is that an order from Allah? Allah hate the black color? What will happen exactly if you have a black hair? Aren't you born with it? Any Muhammadan want to say something? All Middle Eastern, maybe we can say 99.99%, they have a black hair. So why you cannot color black? You have to color your hair, but not black. You have to. Actually, Muhammad, he forced the Muslims to color. Okay, uh, uh, Fadi, Fadi, you said everything the Prophet he did for a wisdom. Last time I called you, or you called me, and we asked you why your prophet was taking shower with dead dogs and women blood from period you could not answer correct so what is the wisdom my friend as long you are saying guys look at this look at this just to show you how Muslims do you have you know the, yesterday you spoke to me you forgot I mean your piss is still in the wall it's not a dry Abdul your piss you the one you made yesterday is still not a dry and now you are saying to me Everything the prophet he do he did it for a wisdom. Okay, so what is the wisdom of your prophet? When he took a shower with dead dogs and women of blood of period and garbage in the water hmm? We asked you the same question yesterday You did not give me the wisdom of that So let me tell you the wisdom of your prophet the wisdom of your prophet that he knew that because you are a coward You don't dare to question his wisdom and whatever he say, even if it's poo-poo, you say it's wisdom. So the wise in Islam is to say whatever Muhammad he say is wise. Not because it's wise, but because you are a coward and you don't dare to say the truth. Correct, guys? Otherwise, tell me the wisdom. Why you should not and you are not allowed to, co to color your hair black? I'm waiting for the answer. And why Muhammad is taking shower with dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage? Give me the wisdom. Who want to give us the wisdom? Hello? I'm waiting for the wisdom. I'm desperately waiting for the wisdom. Who want to give us the wisdom? Do you think Muhammad he was taking shower with the dead dogs and women of blood from period and he was singing I'm sexy and I know it and the women like wow look at this very tempting women they were getting so hot seeing the prophet jumping in the water having dead dogs around him women of blood from period and their rags which they put it around their private part and garbage flying all over him prophet amazing so beautiful so sexy and you know it what is the wisdom? What happened to this guy? A second ago he was telling us about wisdom. Now he's dead. Hmm. He, he's biting his tail. He's saying to himself, what I will say to him now? What I will say to him? What I'm going to say to him? Nothing. I cannot. And the funny that this guy yesterday, the liar Fadi, he said, the Christian Prince, you are using a weak hadith. I did? Are you sure, Abdul? I did use a weak hadith, Abdul? Huh? I mean, no, 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 you come to daddy. What a potato you are. 
anything you say to them getting their profit busted they say to you it's weak and by the way even the weak hadith is accepted in case you do not know there's a sheikh his name sheikh hamza he shake it always he says and i'm quoting him weak hadith is a weak argument weak hadith did not funk it pass it pass it pass but because they are donkeys who do not know what they are talking about anything they say to them they say it's weak You are the weak. Hey, my friend, from you are in South Africa. I am in North Africa now. I told you. He told Muslims not to sleep in their stomach. Modern medicine, my friend, don't sleep in your stomach because Shaitan will do boom boom to you. You see how stupid you are, Fadi. Why you avoid? Sleeping in your belly because shaitan will do boom boom to you, Fadi. The same as your prophet, he said, cover your mouth when you do yawning, Fadi. And the Muslim, they made an article saying, look, the prophet, he is telling us about health. But your prophet was talking about shaitan will piss in your mouth and will jump inside your hole and he was going to play with it. Do you see how silly fatty you are? Do you see how they lie, guys? The prophet, the prophet, he said, avoid sleeping in your belly. Hmm. Any Muslim want to say something? <laughs> Uh, I mean, you see, you see the the Muslims when they try to fabricate the stories, and they come with reasoning have nothing to do with with uh, with with the real reason Muhammad he claimed. They are people of fabrication. They fabricate stories. Hmm. Any Abdul? You're a prophet because he have a dirty mind. When he see a man sleeping in her belly, he did not say this is not healthy for you, you idiot. He says this is the way, if you sleep like this, Allah don't like it. Coward and liar like your prophet. Is that for a healthy reason? If you go and read the interpretation for this, they will show you that if you sleep like this, shaitan will do boom, boom to you. You are a gay. This is what your Muhammad is saying. This is, this is a lie and a, a sleeping is not loved by Allah. What does that mean? What is that? Fata Janah. <laughs> is that Arabic <laughs> uh, where you came from that uh, weak hadith is accepted yes this is why it's called weak weak it means it, it get a rank in case you do not know what weak mean go study weak is called for something had a rank it's not rejected the rejected will not be called weak ignorant people now, are you there, Fadi? You said to us that the Prophet said, avoid sleeping in your stomach. And you said this is for benefit of health. Is that what your Prophet said or you are lying? Your your prophet, he used to wear his wife's clothes, and you are asking me to study the science of men? Hmm? Tafih, 
is the one, the silly, is the one who said to you, don't sleep in your stomach. Actually, sleeping in the stomach can be useful because your body, when you, when you flip your body during the time of sleeping, you release the damage can, ha can happen to your body from having too much weight in one side. And sleeping in the stomach will not sleep all night in the stomach. You flip sometime in your right side and left side, etc. So it's a very silly. Why Muslims, they should put their hand on their mouth when they are yawning. And what Allah he like? You are talking about silly? Let us see the silly. Have you ever heard of a God he like those who sneeze? And he hate those who do yawning? Read carefully with me. The message of Allah said, the sneeze is from Allah. That's you. What is the guy who was saying to me, Tafih? Mr. Tafih, are you there? Well, the Tafih is your prophet. Sneezing from Allah? When we sneeze, this is from Allah. And when we do yawning, this is from Shaitan. Who is the city? Well, Muslim uh, people, the, the silly, the coward is your prophet because he is the one who calls us all names. And he is a coward. All the fights of Muhammad, he used to be in the back of the fight. He never been in the front. Even when they broke his teeth, they had to throw a rock from far away to break his four teeth in the front. And I do not know how the prophet used to say, Bismillah al-Lahman al without teeth. Now answer me. Was Muhammad a silly man when he said that sneezing is from Allah and yawning from Shaitan? Athbitli anna Muhammad laysa rasul. A Muslim saying to me, prove to me that Muhammad is not rasul. <laughs> That's very good. That's very simple. Here we go. I'll prove it to you in two seconds. In less than two seconds. Less than one second. Muhammad himself, he will say to you, I am not a prophet. Read with me carefully. Muhammad, he tried to commit suicide many times, and the reason he don't believe he is a prophet. The prophet becomes so sad. As we have heard, he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. And every time he went to up to the mountain in order to throw himself down, bing, bong, bing, a sound effect. Jibreel. Jibreel would appear in front of him and he would say to him, Khabibi Muhammad. Khabibi Muhammad. You are indeed Khabibi, messenger of Allah. Khabibi Muhammad. Please don't kill yourself, Habibi. Indeed, Habibi, you are a messenger of Allah. And then upon that, the Prophet, he calmed down. So you are telling me, prove to me that Muhammad is not a Prophet? Jibreel trying to convince Muhammad that he is a Prophet and Muhammad don't believe it. So second day, Muhammad, he come and do the same. Look, he says to him, you are a truly, truly, truly indeed a prophet. And then the second day when upon his heart would become a quiet and he would come down and would return home. And whenever the period of, of the coming inspiration used to become long, he would do as before. My friend, you're a prophet is a certified mental person. He is a certified mental person. You tell me why he is coming down over, over to kill himself. The angel, he just told him, you are a prophet. That's it. I mean, should I tell you one million million time? He told him you are a prophet. Why you come after a few days and you try to kill yourself again? And then the angel come to you. Please, Habibi Muhammad. Habibi Muhammad, don't kill yourself, Muhammad. You are a truly a prophet, Muhammad. Muhammad, don't do that. And the angel, he hold him from his panty.
You want me to speak in Arabic so you, I can confirm to you? No, I don't want you to be confirmed. Get out. You are here. We are speaking English, and now you are saying to me, speak in Arabic? Why do you want me to speak to Arabic? Do you speak Arabic yourself? Your prophet do not know Arabic. Muhammad, he come with words, you know, he fabricate words like, al -mugharribun. They said to him, prophet, what is that? He said, those are the homosexual. What? <laughs> Why they bend over only to the to, uh, to the west? <laughs> uh, hmm. Get out of here! Go and learn how to speak to me. In respect! I'm a prophet of Allah, and Jibril is now in my pocket. When you speak to Christian Prince, learn how to speak to a prophet of Allah. I have a wife, her name is Khadija, and she examined my prophethood by her legs. And you are questioning me if I am prophet or not? I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet? It's a proven to him that he is a prophet by the legs of his wife. And not only that, they have a chapter, it's called Khadija wa Mtihanul Wah. Takbir! How, and you read the story, how Khadija she examined the inspiration of Allah. You will find she was doing striptease and Muhammad was moving in the top of her. And you are telling me there's a wisdom? If Muhammad do not know Arabic, then how he did come up with the grammatically and, okay, uh, okay, Fadi, I want you to call me. Is that fair, guys? And I will show you that the Quran is made by a stupid, a stupid author. Do you like to call me Fadi? You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. You said the Quran does not have a grammatic mistake. All of it is a grammatic mistake. From the, the name of the Quran, the Quran itself is a grammatic mistake. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to call me Fadi? Life in, on air and I will get you busted. What do you say? Hello? Hello? The whole Quran is a stupid book. Wrong language, wrong, you know, grammar is wrong. You, know, you see the Muslims, they fabricate even the grammar to make it fit with the Quran. Hello. He's gone now. He's he, he will take a nap. So let us go back to the silly Muhammad. It's a proven brother and sister. Uh, let us ask Zach and Naik about this. <clears throat> you are not you are not in your parent house now? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Dr. Zach and Naik, why the prophet he says that Yanin is from Shaitan? What is your explanation? Brother and sister, this question always come from a guy named Christian Prince. And he's a coward. And he don't look good. And I am sexy. And I know it. The reason that Allah, Prophet, he said that when you do yawning, it is from Shaitan because of the following. Imagine, brother, you are driving your car. And you start yawning. What is going to happen next? You are going to sleep. And who wanted to sleep and die? It's Satan, brother. Allah, he don't want you to sleep, he wants you to sneeze, because when you sneeze, you wake up. And it is proven to be accurate and scientific correct. See the answer? I mean, this is, uh, you see, that's, that is, that's, uh, if you sleep, you die, you are driving in the car, Abdul. By the way, I just came with the answer. I mean, Zakir Naik did not say that, just uh, the disclaimer. <laughs> because Zakir Naik, he will never be able to come with such an answer. This is me. You have to have a brain like mine to be able to come with answers in the speed of light. Do you have any Abdul here want to say to us, why Shaitan? He laugh inside you? You open your mouth, Shaitan, he jump inside your opening? Is that what Shaitan do? Muhammad, are you serious? Okay, what about when I'm talking? I mean, what the difference? 
Do you know, guys, that Muhammad, he said that shaitan, he sleep in your nose. And he piss in your ears. Unbelievable. By the way, I remember once when I was a kid, my mother, she told me she went to the bedroom and she saw two foot coming from my nose. At that time, I did not really take and like, I thought she is caught kidding with me. But then I did read the wisdom of the prophet. And I found out that shaitan really sleep in your nose. Let me see if I can find the hadith for you. Uh, no, let us see. Okay. <coughs> Let us see if we can find it in English. I will change the title of the hadith because the hadith is reported in many, like many ways. Ah, here we go. The Messenger of Allah said. When one of you wakes from his sleep, he must blow off his nose three times. And this is why the Muslims, they blow their nose three times when they do ablution. Why? Because shaitan is inside their nose. For shaitan spend the night in one of his nostrils. Are you there, Fadi? Fadi, are you there? And by the way, this is proven to be very accurate. Let me let me show you the proof. Let me show you the proof. Excuse me. Okay, if you look in this guy here, who color his beard to look like the prophet peace upon him, you will notice here. I need to zoom in so I can show you what's happening to his. Uh... Oh, let us let us use this guy. Okay, here this one is more clear. You will notice, a brother, that there, here, brother, uh, there is something here, okay? You see, like there's a there's a shadow here. That because, a brother, this guy, this brother, he did not blow his nose in the morning. You can tell. Shaitan is still sleeping there, and the shadow there is because of his farting. Shaitan, he's sleeping your nose? Is Muhammad serious, or he's making fun of the Muhammadan? Muslims, is your prophet serious or is making fun of you? Any Muhammadan have something to say? And since I learned this, uh, by the way, I uh, put uh, concrete in my nose. Actually, uh, they told me to make a metal door. Read it in a spiritual way. Okay, you read. Okay, well, guys, read it in a spiritual way. Okay, l listen, listen, Fadi. Why you don't call me and read it for us in a spiritual way, guys? Do you not? Do you want to hear Fadi reading the hadith for us in a spiritual way? <laughs> Tell us a spiritual. He is saying to you, blow your nose at three time. Why three time? And why, why Shaitan? Why he's saying Shaitan? He's sleeping in your nose. Tell us, okay. We want to know the spiritual way. Uh, we are, um, we are desperately trying to find out. What are you waiting for? Who is a Muhammadan? Want to call us and tell us the spiritual way of reading this hadith? Shaitan, he sleep in your nose. Shaitan, he piss in your ears. Shaitan, he jump inside your mouth. Shaitan, he play with your anus. Shaitan, who round himself around your penis. I mean, what is left? Conspiracy. This is why Muslims, they always feel they are under conspiracy. Everything is against them. If he go in the bathroom, he have to say a certain prayer. Otherwise, Shaitan, he will bring the drill and he will start screwing in his anus. Hello? Hello? It's me, 
you're looking for what what we shall say huh this is a very sus suspense I mean this is full of action and suspense and I know your prophet by the way he can work in Hollywood very easy he have a very strong imagination and obviously uh, he make uh, more than a billion believe in this madness shaitan sleep in the nose in the nose in the nose in the nose Shaitan. okay I did read it now in a spiritual way uh, there is any help coming as you see I did my best hello Shaitan. No. Surprise. Inside you. James Bond. Charlie Chaplin. Detective Colombo. Okay, I am out of all options. You tell me now. I get nothing. Still is not working. I tried all the method in the world, including yoga. Hello? I'm out. I mean, what do we do? You, you help me with the Muhammadan. You, what, what happened to the Muhammadan? Help us. How many of you hate me? Be, be, be honest. Now you understand why I was number one in my school. Actually, in my classroom, to be honest with you. Because I was the only student there. No teacher except to teach me. And no student want to be me, with me in the classroom. I give the teacher the headache. The, the teacher, he come and he says, where is this guy? He say my name. And then I put my head up, in my hand up. He says, listen, listen, you idiot. I am not like the previous teacher. I'm more than you. If you think you can do to me the same as you did to the previous teacher, I'm warning you, you cannot. And all the students, they say, yeah, right. Ah, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So imagine Muhammad is coming to teach me in the classroom. What will happen to him? Hello? No screen? Why you need the screen? You want to see this? Ah, you like to be tempted by the wisdom of the prophet. Okay. Uh huh. I got you. <clears throat> don't forget to subscribe if you did not yet. And if you are already subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe. Any Mohammedan? What is this so they give us a speech is about the wisdom of the prophet the amazing Quran we just showed you the amazing Quran the amazing Quran says the son of a disbeliever will be a wicked they will breed not only wicked they will breed pimps whores but Muhammad himself is a son of non-believer so what is the wisdom in the Quran hmm where is the wisdom in the Quran? Any Muslim? Guys, I, uh, uh, I'm not going to stay long. Today is Sunday. And uh, what happened to me every Sunday, that... Uh, I like to take a nap afternoon, but since Shaitan is sleeping my nose, 
and I try to stop Shaitan from sleeping my nose. So look what I did. When I sleep, I put cottons in my nose. Uh, by the way, uh, Fadi, are you there? When you Muslim Sunni, when, when you die, they push a piece of cotton, the huge one, inside your anus. Can you explain to the people here why? Are you there, Fadi? Why, when the Muslim they die, they push a huge piece of cotton and they use a stick to push it all the way down? Why? Because Shaitan will play with it. Hello? Shaitan, he like holes. Muhammad even he forbid Muslims from pissing in any hole in the ground. Why? He claimed this is where the genie, the Shaitan, he sleep in. Otherwise, you will wake him up and he will hurt you. Is that correct or I'm lying? Who is a Muslim want to say to me you are lying? Say it, say it. Who is a Muslim when I say to me, who want to challenge me? Show me, silence me, answer me. I'm, I'm camping my beard now. Show me. Hello? Anyone? The wisdom shall be known. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Guys, wisdom, let me let me show you what this uh, 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 Fadi, are you sure you are not paid by, by the Christians or the Jews? Be honest with me. Are you paid by the Christian and the Jews? Are you uh, are you a Mossad agent? Because you are making people laughing at your prophet and the wisdom Muslims they give us. Look at this. Wisdom shall be known later or just like they know the wisdom from not sleeping on your stomach. So move on and tell them about the good teaching of Islam. <laughs> Will you teach me the good teaching of Islam? Is it this is are you saying that this is the, not the good teaching that Shaitan is sleeping in your nose? Are you saying this is I'm not talking about something good? Are you saying are you making fun of your prophet? Because you are claiming now I am reading things which is not good for Islam. That's mean you admitted. That this is rubbish and this is garbage, and you don't you agree that your prophet is making poo poo, and you are asking me, please don't talk about those things because my prophet he was crazy. Actually, your prophet proven to be crazy, and I will show you. Let me show you a hadith proving to us the intelligence of your prophet. <clears throat> oh boy okay once once guys read with me the super intelligence of the Prophet Muhammad. Once a guy, his name is Ibn Umm Maktoum. Ibn in Arabic means son, the same as in Hebrew. Umm Maktoum, the mother of Maktoum, so his name is Maktoum. And he is a blind. And this has happened when we were ordered to observe the veil, the Prophet wife saying. The Prophet said, read carefully with me and see the super intelligence and intellect of the Prophet, the genius Muhammad. The Prophet said, observe the veil, observe the veil, alarm, we, 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 okay. Observe the veil, okay. The women, they said to him, oh, Messenger of Allah, but isn't he blind? <laughs> I start speaking Urdu now. You're a prophet ordering his wives to cover themselves, and the guy is a blind. Are you serious? And look 
Muhammad here he got busted so what he will say he cannot say I was wrong I was stupid look what he said uh, uh, they said to him isn't he blind he can neither see us nor recognize us the prophet he said are you both blind <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> Don't you see him? <laughs> Unbelievable! That's so good to be true. Uh, your prophet is the best comedian in the world. Is that an answer of a smart man or a dumb, stupid who's trying to cover his ass because he made a mistake and he didn't want to say, Oh, I'm wrong. Sorry. I forgot he's blind. So now they cover themselves and still they can see him and what so what so what if they can see him Muslim women are not allowed to see people this this is stupid hello what is the uh, wise wisdom uh, falafel hummus sheesh kebab Should I stop doing yoga? My friend, I cannot tell you what you do in your life. Do whatever you want. You want to do yoga? Do yoga. For me, I, I don't believe it's, a, it's a something good. Go walk. I think the best yoga you can do, real, real uh, sport. Walking help you to think, to clear your body from any uh, poison because you sweat. Same time, it helps really your brain and doesn't hurt your heart. The best sport, walking, not, not running. Yoga is... I don't know. For me, I, I find it very silly and I find it very stupid because you focus in yourself like you're worshiping yourself. What about if you want to do yoga, go and help some children who need something, uh, help some woman, she's a woman, she's old, she needs somebody to help her. Instead of sitting in your ass for three hours, not moving your ass, what about you do something useful for somebody, a human being who needs help? See who is a neighborhood who is an old woman, nobody visit her, old man who nobody care for him. This is the real yoga. Uh, it is just emphasize, observe, veil. Muhammad emphasized teaching even if it's a blind man. Don't stop being a stupid man. What observe veil? So what if so he emphasized even if it's a blind man? Are you stupid? They are in their home. They are not even in the street. You are being stupid now. Secondly, who said that Muhammad is the one who ordered the veil? It was Umar al Khattab who was spying at the asses of the Prophet wives. And each time the wife of the Prophet, she go to do poo, poo he said to her, We know you, Sauda. Huh? Stop lying. It's not even your Prophet who came with the veil. It was Umar al Khattab. Somebody is saying you are amazing. Don't say that to my mom. She will shoot you. Because my mom, she has totally different opinion. She keeps saying to herself, what I did to you, God? What I did to you? Why you send me the son? Why? What I did? And the reason for that, I eat all the sweets she make. I leave nothing for anyone. Do we have any Muslim? Hello? Hello? That's it? The wisdom of the Prophet is here? We're stuck with this? <laughs> oh boy. You know, the funny, the Muslims, they say to us, like Fadi, he said to us the amazing Quran, but uh, he cannot explain to us so why can the Nabi uh, Omar? <laughs> Guys, look what he said. Look what he said. Just hold on, hold on. Look what Fadi he said. He said, it doesn't matter if it was the Prophet or Omar who came with the hijab. We are thankful for Allah for the hijab because that differentiate our women from the Western women. Okay, hold on. You brought that yourself, Fadi. I never saw people do prostitution as much as Muslims who live in the Middle East specifically and they wear hijab I 
Are you with me, Fadi? Are they those your women? Brother, they are wearing hijab. MashaAllah. MashaAllah, brother. I'm so proud of you, brother. A hey, brother, look at this. Alhamdulillah. A brother, I'm so proud of hijab. Brother, this is the holy hijab. Brother, what those two women, three women doing in the top of each other, brother? This is so good to be true, brother. Hey, brother, look, she is wearing the hijab. They will never take the hijab off. Are you kidding me? They are very conservative people. Extremely. Very. I mean, we have to be honest. At least once. What those women are doing, are they in the top of the... Is she riding the other women? Alhamdulillah. What are you talking about, Fadi? I'm coming from there, you idiot. Hello? You can see those stories for those who do not know. I just type one word in YouTube. I find thousands of videos of your women wearing hijab. Alhamdulillah. It has changed the topic, man. This is very tempting. I'm thinking now about marrying four of those hijab women. Even the wife of the Prophet, she was accused that she was sleeping around. And even there's a hadith, Aisha, she said, that she decorated slaves' girls. So, so, Allah nastadu biha shababan min Quraysh. Do you understand the Fadi? La Allah nastadu biha shababan min Quraysh. Is that she our hadith? No, this is Sunni. <laughs> Aisha, guys, she decorated. A slave which means she would make up in a slave and she sent her in the street and she said the purpose of that so we might be able to hunt some handsome men are we lying who is a brave Muslim when I say you are lying Read carefully. We can find the reference in many books. Al Musannaf. Kitab al Nikah, the book of Ifim. The book of Ifim. Haddathana Abu Bakr. Actually, hold on. Let us see if we can translate this thing into English. No, this is not English translation. No. Hold on. Where is the translation? Okay, translate. Here we go. Narrated by Abu Bakr from etc. from etc. from etc. from etc. from etc. from Aisha. She decorated not so a slave and walk around and she said, Perhaps we catch some young men of Quraysh. <laughs> the decent wives of the Prophet. <laughs> Aisha, she decorated a slave. And she forced her to walk around in the city so she might ha hunt some young men from Quraysh, the tribe of Quraysh. Is that in our book? Or this is your book? Brother, I'm so disappointed about you. Very disappointed. You claim things you don't have. They claim honor they don't have. Any Muhammadan want to say something? And be careful. Anything you say in front of me is going to be used against you in the court of Allah. Allah court is big. Yeah, I saw them. I saw them. They make all the excuse.
there is no need for me to make a website before I made a website for myself uh, and I post my uh, my uh, videos but it became so expensive which I cannot really handle you know I have a lot of videos and each time you play like those uh, hosting companies they charge you because you are playing videos it's a different kind of website so I was uh, paying for it for like five six years and then because very few help me very few people help I have to shut it down anyway just download my videos post it everywhere they cannot delete it they delete it from one there's 1000 errors will download this is the only way to keep them alive and people will learn download my videos share them around all right anyway I'm not going to keep you long it is uh, Sunday and uh, I have some work to do actually and I hope Muslims will see the videos here and see that Islam is really a very silly stupid cult very silly I mean Muhammad is a certified silly man right search YouTube for walking in New York wearing hijab and see how no one talk uh, talks or pick up on her because hijab my friend uh, this is a video this is a video go and see go to night clubs and see the Muslims my friend go to night clubs and see the Muslims your sisters in America they are given a very horrible name oh okay just wait just wait Fadi uh, you know you forced me to do this guys what uh, Osama bin Laden Osama bin Laden one by one the big Muslims And then we will go to Abu Qutada. All the Muslim leaders in the West, their girls either as prostitute or strippers. Osama bin Laden niece. Let us search for it. Uh, where is the website? <laughs> I don't know if I should show this actually. All right, this is Osama bin Laden, niece. Osama bin Laden, niece. Do you see it? What about Abu Qutada, the big terrorist in England who want to fight the kuffar, who grow a beard? His daughter is a stripper. So don't tell me Muslim women in the West. What Muslim women in the West? You cannot even make them decent in your land. You want to make them decent in the West? What a funny Abdul. A very corrupt nation, and they speak too much about how good they are. I never know, I never saw a corrupt people as much in the Middle East. The judge is corrupt, president corrupt, the king is corrupt, the police is corrupt, everybody is corrupt, but nobody speak about God as much they do. Nobody. All of you is nothing but corruption, but you claim dignity. You don't even marry women, you buy them. Muslim women in the West wearing hijab. Should I play for you the, the video of uh, Foxy? Guys, anyone remember Foxy? Who remember her? 
Let us see if I can't find the video. <laughs> this woman, she is a Canadian. Her name is Foxy. She called herself Foxy in uh, in uh, in YouTube. I don't know if her video can be found now. She converted to Islam, and she started talking about how Muslim are. She's a Muslim now, supposedly. She's talking about how Muslim women, they do everything wrong, but yet they are wearing hijab. Let me see if I can find you. Uh, the video. I'm not going to play it because she is using a very dirty language, like her prophet. I don't know if any one of you remember this video. It can help me to find. Anyway, what are we are wasting our time with this? You know, I know, everybody knows. What you Muslims do. You do muta, you do one night stand marriage, you do uh, uh, everything. And then the women, before she want to get married, she go and buy Chinese product. It's called virgin again. She inserted in her private part and now she is virgin. As if nothing happened. I don't know what was the name of the video. Here we go. Here we go. I found it. This is a video made many, many years ago. Muslim women stay virgin. <laughs> you see it? This is the video. Go watch it and die laughing. How Muslim women, they stay virgin. And speak. she is speaking specifically about Muslim women in Canada. And she is a Muslim too. I cannot really even play the video because of the disgusting language. Go watch it. Search for the same title. I wish you can find the original video, by the way, because this is me speaking there and I am playing her voice. But if you can find the original one, it's more fun. She is telling the truth. She converted to Islam and now she found how Muslim women, they stay virgins. How they stay virgin? Do you know Fadi? Watch the video. This is your sister of Allah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop here. Please don't forget to download the video. This video will be taken down in less than an hour. All right. So download it immediately. Give it like uh, 20 minutes for the, the video to be done. YouTube, it takes some time, some time if it's over. over uh, uh, hold on. It is less, it's less than two hours, I think, now. So you can download it immediately after five minutes or two minutes. It takes longer if it's more than two hours. So please download the video immediately. And uh, Fadi is saying yes, run away. <laughs> you want me to stay here forever, Abdul? <laughs> Stupid idiot. <laughs> I'm here every day, you idiot. I am the one who called you to call me and you said, I am not in my mom's house. <laughs> What kind of a man you are? What do you mean you are not in your mom's house? You talk to me only in your mom's house? In any mommy? You say hello to mommy, okay? Next time you see mommy, call me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Download the video immediately after we finish. And after that, if you like to learn more about the stupid cult of Islam, as you see here, we don't speak perfectly correct we say things as it is as it is I don't decorate I say it as it is now many people don't like that and I don't care as it is if you like as is this is who we are truthful and we don't lie if you like to read more you can read my books from Amazon and you can search the band in your country Amazon.com, Canada, France, Germany. We have my books translated to many languages. Until I see you again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And see you. Bye-bye.
Thank you.